Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Welcome to my living room. <laughs> We're gonna talk about stoves today and specifically the Soto Windmaster. Now, this thing is a stove that I have been interested in for a really long time. And now that I've had it for about four or five months, I feel like it's time to go ahead and do a review on this. Now, full disclaimer, I did purchase this with my own money and uh, I'm gonna compare this to several, several other uh, stoves that I have owned over the years, but this is a review of the Soto Windmaster. So to give you a little bit of history of the canister stoves that I've owned over the years, about uh, 15 years ago at this point, I purchased this stove. This is the MSR Superfly with the piezo igniter. Spent about $70 for this stove, and this is probably one of the most reliable stoves that I have ever owned. However, it, uh, it's pretty heavy, it's bulky, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fold down really well. And so I have ultimately stopped using this stove, and I started looking at more uh, lightweight slash ultralight options like this Ollie Camp Ion Micro, which is gonna be very similar to like the BRS uh, titanium stove that is very popular and common on Amazon. And then the, uh, as well as the Ollie Camp Kinetic, which uh, I did do kind of a uh, comparison of all of these different stoves that I own, and I'll link that up here. But uh, there's, there's something about the way that all three of these particularly, as well as this GSI uh, Pinnacle Four Seasons stove have led me to want to purchase this. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, why I purchased the Soto and what has been so awesome about its performance. Because there's features about this stove that make it uh, stand out from a lot of the other uh, stoves that are available out on the market. So there's one attribute to this Soto Windmaster stove that has allowed this to outperform these other canister stoves that I have owned, and it is right here at the base of the stove. This is like a micro regulator right here, and that regulator, when your uh, fuel canister gets cold, it, uh, it loses its, its pressure basically. And so what this micro regulator does is it basically allows for a constant pressure when you are uh, cooking with it. So something that I've noticed with these three other stoves is that when they're uh, being boiling water, I'm cooking with them, they just don't perform over a longer period of time. They also take longer to boil. And so my experience with the Soda Windmaster has been that it literally just outperforms all of the other canister stoves. So you do have this concave shape. And I know that this concave shape of the burner is not like this incredibly innovative new thing that only Soto is doing. In fact, uh, MSR is releasing a new stove that basically to me is a copycat of this, but you've got a lot of the same elements. The boil times that I get from this thing is really impressive. At 10,000 feet, when I was uh, out on a five day trip in July, had this thing, I was boiling water in two and a half to three and a half minutes, depending on how cold the water was. And so a five day trip, I made a 100 gram fuel canister last with extra fuel. So now the total weight of the Windmaster is gonna come in at just under three ounces. And so when you are comparing this to other options, it no, it does not uh, break down and fold down like super tiny. Uh, you've got this removable pot stand, which when you purchase this, you actually get two different pot stands. Let me move these other stoves out of the way. You've got uh, two pot stands that it comes with. You've got the, this like trifold, and then you've got this four flex, and this uh, has a spring action to it. So more or less, this is going to allow you to, uh, let me slide this on here, to handle really big pots. So you can see how much space is there. And so I have not used a pot where I've needed to have that much uh, surface area to be able to keep the pot on. So keeping the weight down, 
I do just use this uh, TriFlex, just this tripod type of uh, system that's included with the stove, and it's been really nice. So if I show you here on its side, you can see how low the pot stand is next to the height of the burner. That's something that I really, really enjoy about this stove is the space between the burner and the bottom of the pot allows for it to basically be its own type of uh, windscreen in that concave shape, which uh, other Soto stoves like the Amicus do have that concave shape as well. And that's kind of like a signature thing that I feel like makes a really big difference in the overall performance of this stove. So in the uh, several months that I've had it and uh, at this point, many gallons of water that I have boiled using this stove, super, super impressed. The piezo igniter has been pretty much flawless. It's not every single time that I turn it on. And so that would be a little bit of a downside. I still carry like a mini Bic with me, uh, but the, uh, the seal around the base is really well done. It doesn't spurt off a bunch of uh, butane, prote propane, uh, gas when you screw it on and screw it off. So that's a bonus. And just overall, this thing is really, really cool. So I'm super psyched about uh, the way that this thing has, has boiled water, how it performs, it burns hot, you've got good simmer action to it. And I literally do not have like negative things to say about it. It uh, is just a top notch, high quality piece of gear that uh, I've been really, really happy with. So you do have to turn this on quite a few turns. So there's an example of that taking a little bit longer, but the other thing that I really like about this is it doesn't burn really loud. So it doesn't have this really high pitched uh, burn to it, but it's a really, really nice, uh, good, consistent burn. I'm just really happy with the performance of it. So there you go, guys. That's the Soto Windmaster. Super cool little stove. And uh, I'm glad that I got it. And uh, basically, these guys here have become obsolete. And I'm, I'm in the long-term performance, this GSI uh, Pinnacle four season stove, I'm just kind of honestly less than satisfied with. My initial impressions with it were awesome, but now having the, the Soto, just super, super happy with the performance of it. So Soto Windmaster guys, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. As always, have an awesome day.